Hi Facebook friends, this is Muffy Kate, this is a frame I just finished, it's got all kinds of buttons all over it, I didn't have to paint it, it had a nice finish anyway, so I just embellished it with a bunch of buttons, um, another frame I did, it was the same frame, except for the side. This has little stones all over it. I hot glued them on there. Um, and yeah, so the, I thought that was neat. I did the sides and the front. I didn't do the inside. I didn't think it needed it. I didn't do the uh, inside with the... Uh, buttons either. Um, the next thing I did was um, um, I found this on YouTube. It's a you can only do it with Coke bottles now. You take the Coke bottle and you it's going to be hard to do with one hand. I know. Let me do it with the empty one. Jack barking. He wants to come in. My golden retriever. I love him. He sees me through the window. Okay, so you take the Coke bottle. Woo! And you cut it off below, just below the label. And then three fingers down on every other line. See this little line here? It only, that's why it only works on Coke bottles. Coke bottles have these little see-through lines right there and you clip it three fingers down on Jack really wants to come in there's a hair on every other line and then you round it off a little bit and then you push them down And you can put a magnet on the bottom or whatever, but you end up with a little container. And I put some fun facts in this one just so you can see. And I found this off a guy on YouTube. And I didn't, um, it might be in my favorites, but I didn't write it down this time. But I think it's clever, and you can do it with the little bottles, the big bottles. And give them to your husband. He can put his nails or his nuts and bolts or whatever in there. Or you can put little craft things in here like your eye pins or your whatever. So I thought that was nifty. A good recyclable thing to do. Um, another thing I've been doing is um, these duct tape wallets. And I also have a a link for those but I didn't like I said I didn't write it down um, and my boys keep taking them I have done millions of these I've done bifolds which only fold in half these are trifolds it has a wallet where you put your billfold a secret pocket right here this is where you put your ID see it's see-through and two credit card holders on this side and two credit card holders on this side and it took me a bit to get this and line up all the um, all the little X you know boxes but I did that so yes I have made dozens of these here's Hello Kitty and yes, this one got lined up too. And penguins. And yes, this one is lined up too. Same kind of format. Same ID. Um, but my teenagers have a habit of taking these. And I'm trying to sell them. And wow. There's that. 
So I've been doing these, and I like I said, I did bifold ones, and I'm going to make, um, just a minute, Jack, Jack. Um, I'm going to make purses, too. So let me get on to the next thing. I picked up these little ceramic tile flowers at Walmart. And I'm like, well, maybe I can do something with these. These are kind of cute. They're all different colors. And I had those uh, push pins in here. They're boring. They're just clear or whatever. So I took them, and I also had bought a new thing of um, super glue I wanted to try out. So I super glued the ceramic tile to the end of the push pin. And geez, aren't they cute? I did too. I'm like, well, gosh, maybe I'll do a bunch of them and sell them in a little jar or something. And there I go. I thought I came out with something pretty neat. Little tacks. And now they're kind of pretty instead of just plain and it cost me like nothing this bag was like a dollar and they come with like there's green ones and blue ones and pink ones and all different kinds and it took like a, a dot of super glue and and did this also I've been making hemp bracelets and these also have been disappearing because my boys like them and have been giving them to their little girly friends or wearing them themselves. These beads I made with my own polymer clay leftovers, so I thought that was, I was pretty proud of myself for that. And these beads I got at Walmart. And this I got from Beyond Bracelets. She has a tutorial for this, so Beyond Bracelets. I know where that one came from. And I got some of these twistable colored pencils from Crayola. And I just absolutely love them. Look at that. They just work really well. I just, that's Sharpie. But then I just kind of doodled inside. And I also have some Sharpies in here. But I also got the neon Crayola colored pencils and they work very very well and I'm the reason I'm telling you this is because I started my own art journal thing here and I did the front page and I did the back page it's like sketchbook I just kind of doodled on it and wrote on it and the first page I just kind of watercolored but I'm going to be doing like a, an art journal so that's going to keep me busy too for when I'm not feeling well. I can just kind of lay on the couch and write my, uh, this art journal is going to have, it's going to be like a handbook for what my boys never had. I wish I had a handbook that said, you know, be kind to others and, and, uh, you know, do all the stuff I didn't do or wish I did or. Or stuff like that, you know? All the stuff that you wish you knew when you were younger, but didn't. So, that's what I've been doing. And, like I said, with these bracelets and, uh, and wallets, I can't keep them in the house. I've done Spongebob, I've done ink spots, I've done all kinds. And, they're gone. And I didn't get paid for them, but that's okay. Uh, the kids are happy. And uh, I've done about eight more of these, too. And they're gone, too. I, these are the only two left. So um, I'm beeping the frames around. They're not taking those. So maybe I should make some more of those, huh? Oh, the other thing I wanted to show you. Please don't look at my mess. But I made earrings out of bobby pins. This one has three on the bottom. Where is it? These have three little ones. I attached it with little 
things. But they're little like bobby pin earrings. So that was the other thing. And those were the uh, for the contest. Those. But these are the other ones I made. So, well, I better let Jack in before he thinks I don't love him anymore. But that's not the case. He's my four-year-old golden retriever. And he misses his mommy. So just subscribe and comment and let me know what you think. And, uh, and I'll talk to everybody later. Have a good day.